Brand new to Mastercam 2024 is the Process Hole toolpath. Directly aimed at minimizing programming time, Process Hole allows users to quickly and efficiently create toolpaths for all holes of a given size and style based on a previously made operations library. Whether you are a small job shop or a big manufacturing operation, Process Hole will help reduce programming time and increase the quality of your parts. This video will show you how to set up a Process Hole operation starting from scratch. You will learn about setting up operations libraries and the use of solid holes, and some specific use cases that highlight the best practices when using Process Hole. Let's start by taking a look at the part we want to cut. This part has a variety of holes with different styles and dimensions. Let's use a process hole operation to program a toolpath for the bolt circle on the legs. All the holes on the part are modeled as solid holes, but if they weren't, or the part had no history, I could easily use find holes to add to solid hole data. Using solid holes is critical for a process hole operation. In the utility section of the toolpaths tab, open process hole and control click to select all holes of the same size and shape. Next, go to the process tab. Here, you will select your operations library. An operations library can be any mastercam.mcam file type that has a toolpath group with hole making operations that use the same size and shape as the holes you have selected. Click on the file icon and navigate to your desired operations library file. This can be a specific file where you save all your hole making processes or simply a part file you cut in the past and like the process you used. Once selected, you will see the process dropdown is populated with all valid toolpath groups from that file. This is how you know the operations library you have selected is valid. Otherwise, you will see the process name in a red box. Below the process dropdown, you will see the toolpaths within that group. These are the toolpaths that will be contained within the process and will be cut on the machine. Now, you can press OK and see your process whole toolpath as one operation in the toolpath manager tree. Now that you know how Process Hole can be used, let's look at the specifics of how to make an operations library. The file I have created is a specific template file that's only purpose is to have many holes of different sizes and shapes for use with Process Hole. This does not have to be the case though. You can use any Mastercam part file that meets certain criteria. First, and most importantly, the library part must be modeled with solid holes of the exact size and shape of your working part. In this case, we want to use the simple 0.157 through hole, which can be found as the 4mm simple through hole. Next, we need a toolpath group to contain the process within. Here, you can use any of the hole making specific toolpaths. When creating the toolpaths, be sure to select the solid hole, not simply the face, edge, or point associated with the geometry. Double clicking on the face of the hole will ensure you have the solid hole selected. Once you have your desired toolpaths programmed, your process is ready to go. You can now use this process for all your hole making needs in the future. Process Hole is designed to be a simple, time-saving tool you can use to easily repeat processes that you know will work well rather than having to reprogram them every time. In future videos, I'll show you how to change the parameters of Process Hole to create advanced hole-making motion.